Greetings, space engineers. This is Captain Rick Havoc with the Terran Republic Navy, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am coming to you today from the Research and Development Station of the Terran Republic Shipyard to bring you a combat test and review of the ship in front of us. This is the ETC Tiger Strike Cruiser Mark I Version 2 by Elvis Edge. And it's a decent ship. Like every uh, like pretty much every ship in the workshop. It's got uh, it's good points and it's bad points. Things you can like about it, things not to like about it. One of the things I kind of don't like about this ship is uh, the weapons loadout. Uh, really should have some ro some rocket turrets in addition to the rocket launchers. Another thing I don't like about the weapons arrangement is uh, it's got masked turrets. When you're firing at an enemy in front of you these two turrets can't shoot because they are blocked by this turret and the, and this turret is blocked by two turrets so fortunately there are enough other turrets on this ship mounted on the ship that it's not a big deal and it's got uh I think a dozen artillery turrets and four assault cannon turrets. And it's got, uh, on, underneath it's got two of each. Two, two um, artillery t turrets and two assault cannon turrets. And also underneath, this you can see this ship is set up and equipped for flying in atmosphere and landing on planets and moons. And it's got plenty of thrust underneath to support it. Lots of thrusters under here. Also under here, besides the uh, landing gear, we have uh, a couple more Gatling turrets under here. We've got a connector under the right here under the belly in the middle that uh, you basically you either need to uh, build a platform on your station with a connector sticking up in the middle of it. Or you have to have a uh, basically a connector on the end of a spike sticking up from the top of your station to use this connector. So it's not the best place. And we've got a pair of. Uh, custom turrets down here with uh, auto cannons, two, uh, two auto cannons each, which I don't think is all that impressive. I have seen custom turrets with four auto cannons, even five, I think, or six. So two auto cannons isn't very impressive. It does have a uh, control stations for these two custom turrets uh, up in the control area. So, that's the underside of the ship. One of the really nice things about this ship is that it has multiply redundant power systems. This is a very good thing. We've got uh, 
primary power from a large warfare reactor backed up by uh, several small reactors and for backup to the reactors we have these uh, solar panels and to back up the solar panels we have three hydrogen engines so as long as you've got sunlight or hydrogen and with sunlight you can it's got the H2O2 generators with sunlight nice you can make hydrogen and so uh, you'd have to really screw up by the numbers to run out of power in this ship so and up here in the nose we've got three rail guns firing, firing from the front towards the front those are actually underneath here one two three rail guns and the camera for aiming those and these uh, rocket launchers is right here and I've uh, replaced one of the rocket launchers with a nuclear missile launcher for finishing off our adversary On either side it's got this unusual connector set up where it has the uh, entry door flanked by merge blocks and those flanked by connectors usually when I see uh, connector and door combination usually it has the uh, connector mounted under underneath the door like uh, would be on this uh, conveyor port right here but that's not how he set up the connectors on this and we have uh, have some side thrusters uh, hidden behind these uh, solar panel mounts right here you can see them through the opening right there we got the our, some side thrusters right there and we have a goodly array of rear thrusters uh, like eight large hydrogen thrusters uh, like uh, 10 small hydrogen thrusters and like uh, one, two, three, four, seven large sci-fi ion thrusters. Ship's got good acceleration. And good maneuverability. Of course, it's a cruiser. You expect that. You expect acceleration and maneuverability from a cruiser. So that's the outside of the ship. I'll take you and show you the inside. And one of the things to show you here, uh, very first thing to show you, uh, there, you, you already saw the entrance on the other side, and both entrances 
have an alcove in the middle of the airlock with an armory on one side, armory locker. And we have this four button control panel with uh, controls to pressurize and depressurize the airlock. So we can open up our visor. And we have uh, some other controls, FBL, I'm not sure what it is. And for the conveyor sorters, we can, which they're uh, drain, drain all on or off. And through here we have the ship's central corridor. Got our other uh, docking entrance and exit here. And up here in the front, we have our uh, gyroscope maintaining area. And uh, I can point out one of the drawbacks to this ship up here. And basically, one of the main drawbacks to this ship are is right here. These, most of the gyroscopes on the ship are mounted to light armor blocks. On the, on the sides and in the rear. And if you watch Luke of the Guides videos on the subject, she'll tell you that uh, it's a very bad idea to mount gyroscopes to light armor blocks you want to mount them to heavy armor blocks or something else heavy that uh, is not easily destroyed because once these light armor blocks are destroyed these gyroscopes are going to start flying around the inside of the ship and doing even more damage It's really bad back in the reactor room. I'll show you that in a bit. Oh, let's see. So uh, we have uh, access to that lower row of uh, gyroscopes it's, uh, through here. And we have uh, three of these uh, decorative uh, maintenance pits that uh, there's nothing inside of to access or maintain. So they're just decoration. There's no, there's no need to go down there. And we've got this short ladder here that you just press F once to get on and press F again to get off. There's no uh, climbing down. And this gives you access to... Uh, possibly the only gyroscopes in the ship that are mounted to uh, anything substantial, more substantial than a light armor block. And these are mount mounted to warfare batteries. And we've got a couple of decorative uh, armories up here. Um, calling them decorative because there's you no know, this is not not the place you'd be gearing up for an EVA or for for a battle and we've got an event controller here and another uh, decorative maintenance pit and another decorative armory locker lot or are several decorative armory lockers in this ship and 
just like this, everything in the interior of the ship is mirrored. If, it has, if, if it's on one side, it's also on the other. And we have more decorative weapon racks and uh, armory lockers here. Uh, it makes a little more sense to have that uh, you might have a group of uh, crew members gearing up in here for uh, to to fight their either fight fight a battle inside the ship or uh, just outside. right past something that you need to show you here and that's our uh, access for our production and emergency power and I find this so much easier than climbing up and down the ladder it's faster and climbing up and down ladders for sure and so we have in here our assembler that's uh, surrounded on all four sides with speed modules so that's our production area and, ba and back here we have our hydrogen engines with another four button control panel here to uh, operate each engine individually and uh, why you'd want to come down all the way down here and operate these engines from this control panel is uh, beyond me I t I would rather have just have the uh, controls for the generators set up on one of the toolbars on my control seat or helm or wherever I control the ship from and one more thing I'd like to point out down here uh, since uh, I'm one of my favorite mods is the build and repair mod I like to point out little places like this where you could pop out that conveyor tube and pop a build and repair module in here and equip the ship with build and repair one of the one of the ve very best mods there is, is the Golden Repair Mod. And we have our uh, other side entrance and exit here. basic task block and uh, the uh, flight block AI flight block right across from uh, these uh, warfare batteries here but uh, there's no uh, the two blocks uh, AI blocks that are not on this ship are the uh, uh, offensive and defensive fighting blocks. So, and down here. Going back down the main corridor, we have some uh, cargo uh, container access here. Uh, on either side and here on either side we can uh, access large industrial cargo containers or small cargo containers and uh, we have a control panel button here for our hangar door and we got some uh, 
lockers. Back here we have our uh, medical room and our vending machine for using the ship with the uh, daily need survival kit lot. You gotta have a vending machine so you can get your food and drink if you're gonna use the uh, daily need survival kit lot. And down here, back here, we have our reactor room, which in at least one aspect is a disaster waiting to happen. You do not want to get hit from the rear in this ship. Because you've got all these gyroscopes mounted on light armor blocks right behind your large warfare reactor so if anybody hits you from behind you're gonna lose your main power source because once the armor blocks are destroyed the gyroscopes start flying around the inside of the chip and uh, causing more damage they would uh, do a number on this reactor So hope you don't get hit from behind in this ship. That's all I got to say. You got more gyros mounted up here on light armor blocks. And it's definitely, probably, probably the single worst thing about this ship is the gyros mounted on light armor. And down here we have some uh, event controllers and timer blocks set up. Set up. We got the event controller on, and this is the same thing on the other side. We got an event controller on the stairs, and then you go down this hallway, and you've got a room here in the center of the ship on either side. So there's there's two of these. Each one of these rooms as three event controllers and three timer blocks. So you've got all the event controllers and timer blocks you might need for uh, any uh, anything you might want to set up. AI tasks you might want to set up unless they don't involve defense or uh, offensive fighting because you don't have the roll box for those now up here let's see on this side we have our uh, AI AI task recorder Through here, you've got uh, two cryo cryo chambers on each side. Through this hallway, and uh, a little uh, alcove up here, where uh, what I, I mounted uh, extra program block I didn't need to put in to put uh, Whip's auto door on. There are, there are program blocks already built into the ship that don't have any uh, script on them. Could have used one of those. And we have our gravity generator up here. some uh, cargo containers here and our other alcove with uh, two cryo chambers and the shelf over here and uh, 
looks like we have another AI recorder on this side. So the chip has uh, two AI recorder blocked. And through here is the control area of the ship. And we've got uh, weapon racks, a pair of programmable blocks, the uh, control seats, control stations for the two uh, custom turrets. As you see, there's a uh, Oh, you can you can activate the, the alarms through the ship and uh, control the custom turret here. And so that's this little area here. We got some screens giving us information. You can't get too much information about your ship in this game. You want all the information you can get. Every every information screen that you can clap eyes on is something you want. And let's see here. We've got this. Uh, this is the upper exposed control deck with a. Uh, not the place you want to control the ship from in combat. These uh, fire covers are not adequate protection, nor are these windows adequate protection from the railgun sabos or the uh, artillery rounds, artillery shells. But it's nice. It's, it's you know, looks good. With all this, uh, you know, the uh, automatons, decoration blocks, and everything. But back here is uh, more important stuff. We've got uh, let's see, what do they call this pit in the middle here? It's on top of the side. Tank Wigfield. Not quite sure what that's supposed to mean, but what it refers to is this little area, section down here where you've got a few more uh, information screens and a pair of uh, hydrogen tanks and another pair of uh, cryo chambers. And on either side of these, you have a pair of some of the most Spartan quarters I've ever seen on a ship. I mean, talk about your minimal amenities quarters. You've got your bed, a uh, shower and toilet combination for a bathroom, and you've got a planner, and you've got an alarm uh, indicator here and a couple and some light panels. That's, that's that's it for these quarters. There's nothing else. They don't even have an air vent in them. Very rear of the ship, and here we, up here uh, on the stairs going up, we've got our conference room, and we've got a large conference table with ten chairs, so you could uh, have a ten-person conference in here. You can have. Uh, we've got our. Uh, console block here if we need to uh, project up any uh, 
ship blueprints or anything. And there's even an extensive uh, bar refreshment area for uh, simulating preparation of refreshments for the conference. You know, if you actually want to serve out refreshments, you gotta go. You have to go down to the vending machine and get them out of the vending machine. But it's a nice touch. Nice decoration. And we got a couple of slit windows up here you can look through. I mean... There is decoration in the ship. It's just... Kind of sparse. And down here we have what's possibly the most important room in the ship. And that's the battle bridge. Got a couple of uh, programmable blocks on either side, and we have our protected control seat, which is protected by most of the ship sitting between you, between the pilot and the incoming rounds. And the ship's going to soak up a lot of damage before it anyway gets back here, it's all the way back through here to uh, take out the pilot. And so we have our uh, pool bar set up with the basic controls we need for this uh, combat test and review uh, said, actually there's one more I need to put on here or two more I'll do that uh, after I'm finished with this uh, first part of the, the review portion review and tour portion of this uh, combat test and review and last thing to show you here is the ship's internals it's uh pretty well set up with internals. We've got uh, these uh, four AI blocks, but it do, like I said before, it doesn't have the combat blocks, the uh, defensive and offensive uh, fighting block. But you could you could put those right up in the front right next to the to these other two, the task block and the move block flight block and let's see um, ten artillery turrets not twelve ten but we got ten artillery turrets and four assault cannon turrets See, and like I, like I already pointed out, there's one assembler that's surrounded by speed modules. And uh, uh, let's see, we have four Gatling turrets for point defense, which is barely adequate. Lots of gyroscopes, most of which are mounted to light armor blocks. This is uh, one, one of the things I really don't like about this ship. And we got our three hydrogen engines and we have Buku hydrogen tanks. Looks like 45 hydrogen tanks. Let's see here. Forty-four. Forty-four high full you know, full size hydrogen tanks. And 
dozen jump drives. Might as well make it and make it around dozen. And we got uh, our four laser antennas, so uh, we always have line of sight to any other uh, lazy laser antenna in the vicinity. Lots of light panels. And we have uh, 16, looks like, uh, H2O2 generators. So, uh, eat these stocked with ice, you'll never run out of hydrogen and oxygen. And we've got, uh, how many oxygen? 10, 10 oxygen tanks, three rail guns, four refineries, uh, rocket launchers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there were eight, but now there's only seven because I replaced one with, with a nuke launcher, atmospheric thrusters, bunch of small hydrogen tanks and some small reactors a lot of solar panels and warfare batteries out the wazoo so and that's pretty much the tour of the ship and uh, looked at everything it's, and its equipment. And let me take this opportunity to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, would like to see more of it, please remember to smash those buttons down below, and like and subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release new content. And I will be back when I have this ship out on the uh, test range and have set up an adversary to test it against. Until then, have a good day.